how to express large numbers in the standard form. Suppose we have a number that is 4089765512. Imagine this is our number. Now, imagine there is a decimal point. Whatever we are going to do is for the standard form. We are going to learn the standard form. Now, imagine that this is the decimal point and let me copy this. So, this is the decimal point and if I take this decimal point and move it and I move it towards towards the left towards the left okay so first I move this decimal point to the left of this uh, 2 that is the last digit in this number so this becomes this number becomes 4089765 one this decimal point comes here and then we have two right we have taken this decimal point we have moved it towards the left and we have placed it just before the last digit of this number that is two so this number finally has a decimal point here and therefore this will be written as 10 to the power one this one represents by how many digits you have moved this decimal to towards the left okay so we have moved only by one digit therefore we are placing one here now if you are thinking that is this number actually equal to this number yes because if you multiply this decimal number with 10 because 10 to the 1 power means what 10 only. If you multiply this number with 10, you are going to get back this number only. Okay? Now, if I write this number as I take this decimal point, if I take this decimal point and I move further towards the left by one more digit, so this number becomes 4089765. Now, this decimal point comes here and this becomes 1 and 2 right so by how many total number of digits it has moved towards the left clearly by two digits initially it was bef uh, before the two but now it's before one so total number of digits that it has moved to move by towards the left is actually two two and one now decimal point is here so this is 10 to the second power if you multiply this decimal number with 10 to the 2 power that is 100 you get back this number okay I take this decimal point and again move towards the left by one more digit so this becomes 4089766 now my decimal point comes here and this becomes 512 now I have taken this decimal point and now I have moved by three digits towards the left therefore this is 10 to the third power right then it becomes if I take this decimal point and I move it towards the left by one more digit this becomes 40897 this decimal point comes here and 6512 this is 10 to the fourth power in the same way if I move I go on moving it uh, towards the left by each digit every time this is 4089 point sorry decimal point then this is 76512 times 10 to the fourth sorry 10 to the fifth power 10 to the fifth power then 408 point nine seven six five one two times ten to the sixth power four zero point eight nine seven six five one two 
times 10 to the 6th, 7th power. And finally, it is 4 point zero eight nine seven six five one two times ten to the eighth power so this representation this representation of this number is actually a special one because this is the standard form representation this is the standard form representation and why because among all these options that we have or among all these representations that we have for this number actually all these are nothing else but this number only in this representation or in this expression actually the decimal point is just after the first digit of the number this decimal point is just after the first digit of number therefore this is the standard form of this number right so whenever your standard form in the standard form your decimal point should always be after after the first digit okay imagine that this is the number uh, Eight zero nine six five four three one and two. If this is a number, and if I ask you that write this number in its standard form, express this number in its standard form, so you will say the answer will be I'll write eight, then I'll place my decimal point here, right? I'll place decimal point here, and then I'll write zero nine six five four three. 1 and 2 times 10 now when it comes to the exponent so think that by how many digits you have actually moved this decimal point towards the left right towards the left you have to think that so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 you have your decimal point was somewhere in the space floating and you took this decimal point you started moving it and you finally reached here so by how many digits do we have we have moved 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 therefore 10 to the 8th power similarly if your number is 7 0 0 0 8 1 7 4 3 1 5 6 our decimal point is floating somewhere in the space and if I ask you to write this number in its standard form, so by how many digits will have to move towards the left? By how many digits will have to move towards the left so that our decimal point finally comes here? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. So our number will be 7.00081743156 times. 10 to the 11th power okay now imagine we have a number it's really very important focus here if your number is let's say take the same number but let's say this time your number is eight zero nine six five point four three one two now if uh, if i ask you is this number in its standard form the answer will be no of course that makes sense because the decimal point should be just after the first digit now if i ask you that write the standard form of this number a standard form representation of this number so now this time what you have to do is your decimal point is now here right and you have to reach here so by how many digits you will move? 1, 2, 3 and 4. So 8, your answer will be, your answer will be 8.0965. We moved 1, 2, 3 and 4 digits towards the left. 4, 3, 1, 2 times 10 to the 4th power. Never make mistake that you start counting from here. Never do that. 
always think where your decimal point is located. In all these cases, your decimal point was floating somewhere in the space, right? So if I take this decimal point from here and if I make it to reach at this point, it has only moved by four digits. So therefore, this is the answer. Similarly, if your number is 1000076.5.0, if I ask you to write this in the standard form, so this will be 1.0000765000891 and times by how many digits do we have moved towards the left? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. Why? Because your decimal point was here. So 10 to the 7th power. Right? This will be standard form. One last point. Okay. By whatever we have discussed here, one thing is for sure. Your, the first digit, the first digit will always be either starting from 1 to 9. Starting from 1 to 9. It can take 1, it can take 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. It cannot be 0. Of course, it cannot be 0. And it cannot be 10 also because as soon as it becomes 10 this the number will be actually 10 point something so you have to move this decimal point again to towards the left so starting from 1 it can take 1 it can take 2 it can take 3 it can 4 5 6 7 8 9 and not 10 okay next in, important point imagine that if someone asks you that can we write the standard form of a single digit number imagine we have our number one, we have three, sorry, we have one, we have three, and we have five. So can we write these digits, uh, these numbers, single digit numbers in the standard form? Yes, we can. Think that we have learned this, uh, this, that we can write a single digit number as like this is one, we can write it as 1.0. We can write it as 1.0, right? We have learned this. In fact, we can write it as 1.0000. Doesn't matter how many zeros we put off a decimal point, if our number is a single digit number, the value will remain the same that it is one. It's simply telling you that in this number, we have only one digit at the ones place. We don't have any digit at the tens place, at the hundreds place, at the thousands place, and so on and so forth, right? So if this is the condition, I can simply write this as times 10 and the exponent I'll make 0. Why? Because we know that any integer, whether positive or negative, other than 0, it should not be 0, if is having its exponent as 0 is actually equal to 1. We have learned this thing. So it means what? 10 having exponent 0 is actually what? 1. So it means you are simply multiplying 1.0000 times 1 and you will get back 1 only, right? So if I can write this number, if I can write this number as 1.0 either like this or simply like 1.0 times 10 and exponent 0. Since we are not moving our decimal point, neither towards the left or right it's simply it is at its place just after the first digit because why because we can write it like that so this is the standard form representation of this one similarly for this one this will be three point sorry three point zero times ten with exponent zero and same thing for this one five point zero it can be written as five point zero times ten with exponent zero so this is the standard form uh, representation of uh, the single digit numbers.